So yeah, we're gonna buy some more stuff uh, with our queens that we got. So we can buy taco, hot dog, and hamburger with all this stuff. So we got hamburger. Hamburger. Oh, god damn. Yeah. Shop tutorial. Um, so basically, the last tutorial we made a shop GUI, a shop button, and we also made the items for the shop uh, via a module script. So in this module script, as you can see, uh, we made different items, as you can see, and basically, you can pretty much add as many items as you want, and it will the script will automatically put the items in the shop. So you don't have to rearrange the GUIs, you don't have to do any of that. So it's pretty neat. We added the price of them, the tool for them, the image, and hold on, let's actually play this and see how it works. So as you can see, we even made the button too. Okay, and then we put the image. We have the uh, have the name for all of them, the image for all of them, and the prices. All right, we also have the items for these, uh, for these, or the tools for these um, items and the replica storage so you have the hot dog taco hamburger and pizza so that's pretty much what we've done uh last tutorial and now really what we're doing now is pretty much making the purchase work so what do you when um player buys an item we want the player to get the item right we want to give the player the item and parent it to the player's backpack or character or maybe even starter gear if you want the item to stay permanent so what we can do right now is actually first we need a coin system of currency so what we can do is um now this is not really the main part of the tool so i'm just gonna really skip through this part so we're gonna make we're just make this quick um go to server service and start a script and then i just copied and pasted this um the script right here uh, i think this is kind of part from a different game i uh, i was making um but yeah pretty much now, actually, before everything, if you if you think this is confusing, definitely be sure to watch my data store tutorial because uh, I've made like at least two videos on specifically data stores. Um, so definitely be sure to watch them in case you think this is confusing. But right, I'm just going to go over them quickly. So data store, we got the data store service. We get a data store from the data store service. OK, so now when player joins, we make a leader stats. Leader stats is a folder that holds all the stats um for example coins and when it is there is a value in the leader stats folder it will appear on the game like in the player list as you can see in the top uh top left top right corner with the player list it should appear there that's where the leader stats are so coins we made the coins uh stat saved coins is the coins that we get um from the player if they have saved coins from the last time they played the game and if they do have sold coins, uh, sold coin, saved coins, if they do have saved coins, we set the coins value for the player to the uh, amount of coins they saved from the last time they played the game. And then player removing is when the player leaves. Uh, we just made a pcall function and we did set a sync. We set a sync to the player use ID, which is the player's key. And then we just concatenate this with uh, the string coins it can be anything it can be like for example if you're saying rubies you can just do rubies um it's not really necessary it's just used to differentiate between if you have more than one saved value or if you have more than one uh values that you want to save you kind of want to differentiate between when you want to save them when they leave the game and when you want to get them when a player joins the game right so for example this coins right here this is referring to the coins that they, uh, oh, this is kind of the key, basically the key, and just concatenate it with it, uh, the player, uh, players use ID. Okay, I think I know. I'm probably, I'm probably being a bit too confusing right now, but basically we save the value in this key, and the value that we're saving is the coin's value. All right. Um. Okay. I'm gonna just skip this part. It's not the most important part of this tutorial. Now let's go back to the local script. Uh, where we set all the items, where we put all the items in the shop. The thing's right here. So what we did here is made a for loop, and then we cloned a template for each item inside the model script right here. And then we made a template clone. We set the, the name to the item name for each name, 
the price and the picture. And that's for every single image right here. All right. So I made a template for every single image. Now what we can do is make a buy event for each template clone. So we'll do a template clone dot buy dot mouse one, one click connect function. So this is for whenever someone uh, presses the buy button. Now what we can do is actually before we do anything, we do need a replicated uh, remote event inside replicated storage. I actually already made this as buy item. So we just make one remote event and you just call this anything, you can call this buy item. And then we have the remote here. So game that replicated storage by item. Let me repeat that right here. So local remote equal game dot replicated storage dot buy item. And then when we make this remote, we want to fire it whenever the uh, the player clicks the button. So we'll do game dot replicated storage. Or actually, we just put this in a variable. What am I doing? Uh, remote event fire server. And then what we want to do now is basically we want to fire it, and then we want to pass two values which is first the item name because we want to check which item the player wants to buy and the item price because we want to check whether or not the player can buy the item uh with its current price so we'll do item dot name 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 then item dot price all right so all we do all we're doing here is just firing the remote event to the server now we can then when we get to the server we can then check whether or not the player has enough coins to buy the item and then if they do have enough coins we can uh we can put the item in the player's backpack or character or basically give the player the item okay so actually let's make a new script right here this will be our data script right here this is our data then i can make another script for our buying purchase thingy majingi Add item item bot okay so local remotes so this is the remote we just fired we'll game that replicate store dot buy item and then we can just do remote on server event because we fired it from the server whenever the player buys the item connect function and then the function the player is the player um that bought the item or clicked play because whenever the player uh whenever the player clicks buy we fired the this event to the server and you want to check okay well if the player's coins value is greater right and then the item name because we passed that item name and then we also pass down item price by default the player is always first whenever we fire from client to server so right here actually was right here so we're, we fire this remote event from the client to the server pass item name and item price and we got these item name and item price and player just hops to be first because it's always first whenever we fire from client to uh from client to server client is basically the player the player screen all right so local coins value equal player dot, uh or actually leader stats so leader stats as you can see it's the leader sets, uh, which holds all the values, uh, such as the coins. One the value. Or I can do uh, whatever's coins. All right. So let's see. First, let's search for the item. So let's do a for i loop. For i food in pairs. So this is all the food. Actually, let's make a let's make a food uh ver a food folder variable. So local food folder equals game dot replicated store dot food and food is what we made the previous tutorial it's all the it's all the food uh, all the food items all the items in general so okay, right here. so it's a folder that holds all the tools so we've got hot dog taco hamburger pizza all right so food folder get children dude all right, so now we want to check if the name, so item name right here, if it matches one of these names. So now we have to make sure, so the, on the model strip, you have to make sure the name actually matches the same name as the actual item that you inserted in the game. 
So hot dog has to be the same name as hot dog right here. And that includes capitalizing the characters. So it's case sensitive, basically. Hamburger matches taco also matches and pizza matches. So let's make sure these are all the same exact uh, spelling and everything. All right. So now, so if food that name equals item name, then so if the item name, which is the item that have, has just been bought, is the same as the food I name, then we know which food, uh, which item the player has bought. Then we're going to check the item price. So if coins value, the value, which is the amount of coins the player has, is greater than or equal to the food, uh, hold a minute. So, okay, item price is greater than item price. I don't item name, item price. Then, so we can make a tool clone. So local tool clone, which basically the item equals food clone. Oh, and actually, all right. So before we do, okay, whatever. So local tool clone equals food clone to clone dot parent equals player dot backpack so now this is how the uh, the tool gets transferred to the player's uh backpack you can also do a character now if you want the if you want the player to have the tool permanently you pretty much just copy and paste this but just make sure the clone variable is different so for example tool clone two to clone to that parent exodes player dot starter gear and that's it starter gear basically whenever you put something in it it will stay with the player uh even after they reset so basically if you only put it in the backpack so if you remove this uh the player will only have it once and then if they reset they'll lose it if you put it in the starter gear they'll keep it forever and the starter gear doesn't really show like if you just put it in the starter gear only um You'll only like you'll only receive it after you reset. So you also want to put it in the backpack and starter gear if you want it to be permanent. Backpack is just if you want to uh, to give the player um, the item immediately, right? But you can also do like character. It just means that the player will uh, automatically equip the item. All right. I think this is good. Um, of course, last thing you want to because when the coins value, so you want to take uh, away the coins that the player had and subtract it with them out uh which is the price so basically coins value dot value minus equals item price all right i think this should be it let's actually make a uh, screw we didn't have we don't have like a okay so, so we have a part right here so let's make it make it so it gives the player coins and actually it's, it's gonna be pretty simple just for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to make a quick thingy. So, script. Actually, let's make a click detector. Because why not? Click detector. And. I don't know. I might be going a bit too fast. I'm not sure, honestly. So, local. I'm sure the parent. So, script. That parent. That mouse click. Connect function. And then player in the parameters. That's the player that clicked on the click detector. And. Player. That leader stats. Dot the uh, coins dot value and plus equals one. So you add one to the coins of the player. Uh, that's pretty much it. Now, uh, oh, oh my god, I forgot. Um, so for the data store, the data store, the data store. Um, make sure, make sure. Oh my god, I'm gonna have so many kids commenting uh, about this. So make sure your um, API service. Your API services, your access to API services are on, so the data store will work. Now, the data store is an API service, um, so you actually need it to be on, or the access you need it to be on, because by default, it's actually off, so you need to access the API services you want to turn this on, um, so you can actually access the data store, so you can actually save these sets. And yeah, let's see if I get an error. So I have three coins. I think this is from last time. Um, so this is the coin giver. So if you click on this, 
I was going to get it. Oh, uh, the guy spelt it wrong. Oh, my God. So, where's the... Okay, so, let's see. Leader stats. I spelled leader stats. Okay, now I spelled it right. Yeah, I make stupid mistakes. That's true. I was actually making a cool color. So, like, I don't know, man. Reflectant. Let's make a reflectant. Like, oh, wow, it's too much. Too much, man. Too much. Uh, okay, let's do this. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm honestly no clue what I'm doing. But, uh, so now we have the coin giver. You know, get the coins. We can buy the items on the shop. So let's click on this. So I can see the coins are actually adding up. So right here, coins are adding up. You probably want to cool down on this, honestly. Uh, but this is just a simple little script right here. So now, when we actually go to the shop, we can buy pizza, for example. Boom. We, uh, we, um, we use our coins to purchase this pizza. Now our coins actually disappeared. Well, we use it to buy this pizza. Pizza! Pizza! Pizza, look at this. Pizza! Pizza! So yeah, we're going to buy some more stuff uh, with our coins that we got. So we can buy taco, hot dog, and hamburger with all this stuff. So we got hamburger. Hamburger! Oh, God, okay, that rhymed. Uh, anyways. Um, so we got this. Mm, and yeah, love so, it. Pizza! Pizza! Pizza, pizza! Okay, um, so yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more, comment down what you want next. Subscribe and like, most importantly. If you want, you can join our Discord server. And if you... Yeah. So, and well, by the way, if you want to suggest something in the comments, um, please be a good suggestion. I don't want anyone commenting down uh, how to make... Uh, how to make phantom forces how to make arsenal like bro I, who do you think i am bro or how to make a gun how to make a gun how to make a fps system no bro how to make a, adopt me no bro uh, i'm not making that okay so sorry man um but yeah i hope you enjoyed and uh, comment down what realistic suggestion you want next this has been actually kind of fun tutorial to make it's kind of part two um or a two part tutorial kind of thing um it's kind of like an hour long in total over an hour long but yeah so uh i hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one